Welcome back to the Kitchen of Vivacious Dish. I'm Chef Catherine, and today I'm sharing with you another vivacious basic. We're gonna be making nut milk. This is really easy. We're gonna be using some cashews, a little bit of honey for sweetness, although not required, vanilla, some pink sea salt, and filtered water. It's that easy. We're gonna make this in 15 seconds or less. Um, as you can see here, I'm soaking my cashews. This is great because it helps to break down the phytic acid um, most nuts and seeds have natural phytic acid. This is great in nature because it pre prevents them from germinating prior to them being ready to be in an environment where they're going to want to sprout and seed. But in our bodies, this can cause some difficulties with digestion. So that's why a lot of people, if they eat nuts or seeds or beans, um, they can have some digestive discomfort. So when we soak the nuts in a little bit of warm room temperature water for at least seven hours or longer, it helps to start to release some of that phytic acid, making them a lot easier to digest. The other thing is that nuts also have some enzyme inhibitors in them, which means that if you eat them raw, it can make it difficult for you to absorb nutrients, but the soaking process also helps to start break those down so they become much easier to digest and really make for a more balanced approach um, in your body overall. So with that in mind, these cashews have been soaking for about eight hours. The other good thing is when you're making nut milk is soaking them helps to soften them up so they're going to blend into a much more creamy smooth milk. So I'm going to strain this water out, the soaking liquid, to start. And this is one cup of cashews which is going to make a really nice quantity of milk. You can start your week making this and store it in the fridge for the entire week and use it in any of your preparations. You could put it in your coffee, um, in sort of chia pudding if you wanna make something like this. You can use it as a milk base for some grain-free pancakes. Pretty much anywhere where you'd wanna use milk, you can use the cashew milk substitute. If you're planning to use this milk in a sweeter preparation, you can add a little bit of honey. You can also use maple syrup or agave if you wanna do a vegan preparation on this. Not very much. I don't like my milk particularly sweet. And if you were planning to use this in a savory dish, you can omit the honey entirely. Next, we're gonna put a splash of vanilla. Again, this is optional. This is, makes it really delicious if you're using this in any sort of sweeter preparation. But if you prefer to have more of a neutral flavored milk, you can avoid, uh, oh, omit this <laughs> as well. Um, and then finally, just a little bit of sea salt. This just helps to balance the flavors. Again, optional. You could add herbs in this if you wanted to make more of a savory milk, whatever you desire. And then lastly, we're gonna use a little bit of filtered water. You wanna put enough water in that you're getting about a one to four ratio, so one cup nuts to four cups of water. If you want a creamier or thicker milk, more like a cream, you can add less water. It's really up to you and your consistency preferences. Once you have all of that ready to go, we're just going to turn it around. And that's it. The cashews are great because they blend up really easily. You can use the same process with other nuts like almonds, um, but once you've done finished, once you're finished blending it, you're going to want to strain it through a cheesecloth. But this milk with the cashews is ready to go, and you can see that it's rich, creamy, and delicious. Have fun playing with your beautiful cashew milk.